What up, world? Don't get my unleavened bread on, excuse me. Study Bible, not the sermon lock, Smith. Knowledge is the key. I like to get my unleavened bread on in the evening and in the morning. That way, I don't have no mistakes, no, you know, because we deal with the uh, calendar of the sun. So, you know, it's easy to eat something at night and then the next day come and then you be at night again, not even realizing, you know what I'm saying? Or eat at night and then, you know, a whole 24 hours pass, you know, and not really thinking about it. So, I like every, um, every meal at evening and in the morning at the absolute minimum. And speaking of unleavened bread, I just want to read something real quick and share something with you. Um, why Christians even deal with this? Why, why a Christian should be eating unleavened bread? Right? You got this little, that's all it is. I mean, I, I know how to make it, but I guess because I'm a bachelor life, I'm lazy. So I just went and bought matzo. Uh huh? Yeah. No, I already ate something, huh? My, why should Christians be dealing with this, right? We read before that leaven represents sin. So that's the first thing Christians should be dealing with it for that because unleavened means sin free. That's what we all claim to be doing around here. Right? After that, let's go read something and find out. All right, let's pick this up in Exodus chapter 13. And, um, you know, real quick, just, you know, see if we can make sense out of all this. Mr. Reader. Exodus chapter 13 and verse 1, my brother. Exodus 13. Yeah, that's the one. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, What'd he say? Sanctify unto me all the firstborn, mm -hmm. whatsoever openeth the womb among the children of Israel, yeah. both of man and of beast, it is mine. I mean, that makes sense. He killed all the firstborn in Egypt and would have killed Israel's firstborn if they didn't do the blood on the doorpost thing. Right, but read. And Moses said unto the people, What'd he say? Remember this day in which he came out from Egypt, uh -huh. out of the house of bondage. Yes, sir. For by strength of hand, the Lord brought you out from this place. And? There shall no leavened bread be eaten. Mm -hmm. This day came ye out in the month Abib. So on the 15th day of the month, no leavened bread should be eaten. Keep going. And it shall be when the Lord shall bring thee into the land of the Canaanites and the Hittites and the Amorites and the Hivites and the Jebusites, uh -huh. which he swear unto thy fathers to give thee What's going a happen? land flowing with milk and honey, that thou shalt keep this service in this month. And this is that month, and this is that service. Read. Seven days thou shalt eat unleavened bread. Now he actually said seven days you actually have to eat unleavened bread. Before he told you don't let no leavened bread be found with you. Now he's saying what you do do with the unleavened bread. Read. And in the seventh day shall be a feast to the Lord. Yes. Unleavened bread shall be eaten seven days. Uh huh. And there shall no leavened bread be seen with thee. Mm -hmm. Neither shall there be leaven seen with thee in all thy quarters. Absolutely. So no leavened bread seen with you and nothing in your quarters. That means in your car, in your house, in your garage, in your other house, in your summer home, in your public storage, all that. Right? Read. Read. And thou shalt show thy son in that day, saying, This is done because of that which the Lord did unto me when I came forth out of Egypt. Now, watch this. Read. And it shall be for a sign unto thee uh -huh. upon thine hand, and for a memorial between thine eyes, that the Lord's law may be in thy mouth. For with a strong hand hath the Lord brought thee out of Egypt. Yes. So, we doing this for a sign. And it says, the sign will be upon thy hand for a memorial between thine eyes. Right? What is he talking about? Is he talking about memorial between your eyes like... Like right here, maybe I'm like a triclops or something. I'm gonna have like a, a extra eyeball right there. Is it like a? Oh, he's talking about your mind. You putting this in your mind. This is a sign for this thing to understand. To understand what that leaven represents sin. All right now, let's go back through this thing now. Verse six: Seven days shall you eat unleavened bread. Why seven days? Cause man got seven days. Right. You was created on the sixth day, but then after that, you got 1,000 years per day. And on the seventh day, the Sabbath day, Jesus is going to come back, set up his kingdom. 
So you got from the first day to the seventh day to live sin free, to get this thing together before it's too late. Right? And that's why you have to eat unleavened bread every day because you're supposed to be thinking about that for every day you're on this earth. You're supposed to be consciously thinking sin free, sin free. At every meal, sin free, sin free. Right? Because it could be swine, it could be abominations on there. Right? Every conversation, sin free, sin free. Because it don't take nothing. This is a world of a deadly poison I got up in here. Right? I asked my ex girlfriend, you don't believe me. Right? So every day, everything, every time, sin free, sin free. Right? When you step out the house, sin free, sin free. When you get to work, sin free, sin free. Every day, sin free, sin free. Not just the Sabbath day, sin free, sin free. Feel me? And then he say, unleavened bread shall be eaten seven days, and there shall no leavened bread be found with thee, neither any leavened bread, not quarters. Of course not, because that's sin. No sin shall be found with you. Right? No sin should be found in your quarters. You can't be cool and then you got the sodomites in your garage living. Right? And then they say, um, and you shall sow this to your son. This is done because of what the Lord gave to me. What the Lord did to me, um, unto me when I came forth out of Egypt. Right? What the Lord do? He passed over your sins. Oh, that's why you live in sin free, sin free. Right? And you tell your son, and he be like, Daddy, why we got to do all this? Why we got to be worried about this law and this abominations and the swine? What's the big deal? Because the Lord passed over our sins already in Egypt. Not every little step we take, we got to be sin free, sin free. Right? Um, and keeping the ordinance in its season from year to year. Right? That was pretty quick, right? That's all I wanted to do, just um, kind of break that down. Just maybe take it just a half an inch deeper on this Feast of Unleavened Bread tip. Right? Study the Bible, not the sermon. Locksmith, knowledge is still the key. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Hit that notifications bell. Give me a thumbs up. Comment. Let me know what it is, how you're living, how you like it, if it's holding you down. Have a great feast. A couple more days left. Knowledge is still the key. One.